I like to use the GPS in, in conjunction with topographical maps. You know, you can find those saddles, you can find water holes, you can find that kind of thing. You can find it on the map and then you mark those points on the GPS and that helps you locate them, especially if you're going in in the dark, that kind of thing. And a lot of your GPS's anymore, you can purchase your land-based maps that have the borders between private land and public land to make sure you're in an area where you're supposed to be. Uh, that's uh, very important uh, when, you're, when you're in your western hunt. I use a Garmin and actually uh, Onyx Maps uh, has an application that is available on most uh, cell phones now that works extremely well, I've been using lately. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of instructions online for reading a topo map. Uh, you know, the typical things you, I'm looking for is, well, one, you know, how steep is the terrain as far as navigating, but a lot of, I look for saddles, and that's those areas where you've got a high spot here and a high spot over there, and it can be just the slightest difference in elevation in between. But uh, animals are like humans. Most of the time, they'll take that easier route if possible. Uh, the other thing we look for is water holes in areas where uh, water gets sparse. Uh, you see that a lot in the fall in the west. Uh, knowing where the water source is is going to give you a good idea of where to start uh, trying to locate animals.